up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 songs that are perfect for a car ride. Whether it be a road trip with your family on vacation and you're stuck in the back of the car with your headphones, or if you're someone like me who has a kind of a longer commute to school or work and you always want something to blast while you're driving, this playlist is going to be perfect for you. As always, there's a link down below to the Spotify playlist that you can follow and follow me on Spotify as well. This playlist is actually going to be collaborative meaning that you guys can add your own songs to this playlist so after watching this video if you feel like there's anything else that would fit perfectly with the rest of the songs that I mentioned go ahead and feel free to add it anyways I hope you guys do enjoy this video without further ado let's jump right into the first song my album of the month which I know the majority of you guys did not watch that video but please I'm telling you right now go check out that video check out the album Luna and the Wild Blue Everything by Matt Caracas. The first song on this playlist is by Matt Caracas. It's called Direction and it's probably the best song on that record. I wanted to add this song to this playlist because it honestly is like the perfect song to drive around to. That whole album actually is perfect for driving because it's kind of relaxing and soothing, has this very chill vibe to it. This song in particular features guest vocals from Anthony Green of Circus Survive. So if you're looking for more relaxing type songs to listen during a long car ride, this is probably perfect for you. I guarantee that it'll be Able to vibe to this. It's very simple, just acoustic guitars and a voice, and like I said, it features guest vocals, and those two together just completely complement each other. I find it so fitting for this song because it kind of brings the emotions out um, in what the song is actually about, finding a new direction. The guitar part in this song gets stuck in my head all the time. Like, I just wish I could play it. Like, it just sounds really good. I don't know what it is. Promise me you'll give this song a chance. I hope you guys enjoyed what you heard from the little preview that I played, but please go ahead and listen to that whole album. I'm begging you. The entire Misadventures album by Pierce the Veil is so fun to drive to. Obviously this is heavier than my first pick on this list. I find it a lot more fun to drive to this song on a highway, you know, when you can go pretty fast and just kind of have a lot more, you know, open space around you. And I don't know, it's just so much fun to jam to. This song has a really sick breakdown and just some killer screams in here along with the guitar work. Everything about this song just makes it seriously perfect. I think this is probably my favorite song off of that album. I think this is definitely one of Pierce the Veil's best songs ever and like I said it's just one of those heavier more aggressive intense songs to listen to and all the instrumentation is just so intricate and there's so much going on that you just really want to pay attention to it and just enjoy it it's so much fun I know I already expressed my love for this bonus track in my Bad Vibrations review, but I'm serious, this song is so good. I personally love when a day to remember try new things, and this is a softer, more rock-leaning song, and Jeremy sings in like a very different style than what we're used to, like with traditional a day to remember. Even in a day to remember softer songs, he doesn't really sing quite just like this, so I really like the mix-up here, even though it was a bonus track. I think it's a great track. I think this is one of the songs that really proves how talented of a vocalist Jeremy Jeremy actually is. It's a very soothing and calm song that you'll find yourself singing along to sooner or later, so I highly recommend jamming out to this one one day on your ride to school, work, or wherever it may be. No Closer to Heaven by The Wonder Years is one of the best albums of 2015 in my opinion. Cardinals is arguably the best song on that album and I think it's one of The Wonder Years greatest songs in a really long time. And this is making my list because it truly makes driving just like fun. I don't know what it is. There's so many different parts in this song that kind of make it what it is. Like there's a lot of build up to the chorus and when it gets there you just want to like speed your car. Like it's just so 
so much fun to sing along to while you're driving. This song has more softer moments and just like I said it builds up and then explodes into this awesome chorus and towards the end of the song there's even elements from another song, Brothers And, um, from that record and it's seriously orgasmic. I'm not even joking. And it will not take you long to learn all the lyrics to this song so go ahead and take a drive by yourself, scream every word to this song, you're gonna love it. is the second single release from Ballads and Composure. This band is about to release a brand new album on October 7th, I think. And I'm 100% serious when I say that I have driven to school and blasted this song on my way there so many times since the song came out. It's weird because it has this sort of chill vibe to it, but it is upbeat in a way. It sounds very atmospheric. I guess you describe it as alt rock. And this song is seriously perfect to drive to because when I'm listening to it, I just picture myself like looking out at like a landscape and just, you know, driving. I don't know how to explain it. You just have to hear the song. I wouldn't say that it's relaxing, but it's just something that you can play like in the background of doing whatever, but like it's a song that you kind of want to turn up really loud even though it's not a super loud heavy song. Like you just want to hear it because it sounds good like sonically. <laughs> Far Too Young to Die Off of Too Weird is one of Panic's most underrated songs in my opinion. Now it's super synthy and features a lot less instrumentation and more I guess like electronic sounding things aside from the drumming but Brendan's voice as well has a lot of effects on it and for some reason it just works really well here like incredibly well. Now I feel like this whole album would be great to drive to like just throw the CD in or whatever but this is a standout track for sure. I see myself driving late at night and it's like raining and I see city lights you know and like they're reflecting off of like the raindrops on my car and I'm just like driving kind of slow kind of fast to this song and just kind of singing to it. I think it's a hella fun jam that isn't too too much if you get what I'm saying. It's upbeat but it still has like that chill vibe to it. So Young the Giant is a band that I've never ever mentioned on this channel before because I've never even listened to them ever. But huge thanks to my boyfriend who actually kind of recommended me their newest album and I checked out this song, America, and I fell in love with it, for real. This is such a good song. This band is still pretty underrated. I think they're on Fueled by Ramen, but they're so underrated. The singer of this band is incredibly talented and even some of the other things that they add in this song just make it sound so pleasing. Now I'd recommend listening to this with your headphones but if you can't obviously if you're the one driving then go ahead and blast it because this is just a song that you kind of want to take in um, but once you do hear it one time you're gonna have to be replaying it a couple more times because it's gonna be stuck in your head and you're gonna love it and you're just gonna need to hear it again and again and again because that's how fucking good it is. Next up we have Bang the Doldrums by Fall Out Boy. This is off of Infinity on High and this song is honestly kind of about driving sort of what it sounds like to me because he's saying racing through the city windows down in the back. It's sort of like theatric in a way with like how upbeat it is just kind of makes you want to sing along. One lyric that does stand out to me it says I cast a spell over the west to make you think of me in the same way I think of you. And that is just fucking gold. Like, I love this song. It's so underrated, I feel like, by Fall Out Boy. And there's a part in here that nobody even knows what it's saying, but I actually just looked up the lyrics. This is on Fall Out Boy's website. It is Yo Ho Ho. Like, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about if you heard this song. It goes, here, I'll just play that snippet right here. So nobody even knew what they were saying in that song, like some people said like are we all alone is what it was or you're all wrong, but it does say on their website, this confirms it for me, I might have to look in my um, Infinity on High record sleeve for that, but I'm not even gonna bother because it is on their website, so I'm assuming it is yo ho ho, whoa, I don't know why, but that part is really really fun to listen to, but it's a damn good song. Next 
Next up is She Way Out by the 1975. I think this is so underrated by them. Like seriously, what a fucking jam. All I want to do is dance whenever I hear this song. I love the 1975 because they have that 80s vibe, very synthy and just like dancey type songs. And this is one of the best ones in my opinion. And this can make your drive so much fun because you really can't help but groove along and sing to this song whenever it gets to that chorus. Play this song in the morning on your way to wherever you have to go for that day and I guarantee you're probably going to be in a lot better mood once you get there. If you got the keys, then start the car and Drive as far as you can If you got the blood, then you got the heart to Give yourself a chance Last but not least, we have Never Lose Your Flames by Issues. Now, I know this is like one of their most popular songs, if not their most popular and well-known songs, but I could not just not include it on this list because the theme of it really does kind of have to go with like driving. It talks about if you have the keys and start the car and drive as far as you can. It just makes you kind of want to drive farther and farther. You just feel like you want to kind of escape and get out and get away from everyone and this is the type of song that you want to blast when you are driving. This is though seriously one of their best songs that they've written. It has the perfect mix of screaming and clean vocals with that amazing catchy chorus that just everybody knows. This is probably like their best chorus they've ever written. It's seriously fantastic in my opinion so if you wanted something a little harder and heavier this is the perfect song for you and seriously the entire issues catalog is perfect to drive to. I honestly never ever get tired of listening to their songs while driving especially on the highway because there are some heavier ones that I just want to like rage to. I know it sounds pathetic because I'm a little girl, but for real, like they have the best like driving music and Never Lose Your Flames is just one example of that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below some songs that you like to drive to or listen to when you're on a long car ride. Also, please do not forget to follow the Spotify playlist. Like I said, you can add any song you want to the 10 that I picked. Also, make sure you follow me on Spotify if you're curious to see what other playlists I've created. A lot of them, I've had videos that go along with them. So if you're curious to see what those are, go ahead and check me out. But make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and I will see you guys next time.